Okay, here I've got the bike on the hoist. I'm getting ready to do my 30,000 K service. There's a bit of preparation. I need a place to put my parts, so I got my table set up. Here I'm uh, started taking the side covers off. Gotten quite a bit of it off already. Um, you know, working on getting the rad off. In this picture here, I got to unplug the uh, fan and. There's various mounting bolts and screws you have to take off. Same on the left side, you have to remove the hose and there's a few screws and a couple of rubber mounts on top and one on the bottom. They just have a circlip on them. Well, here's the engine all exposed. So now we're going to start working on getting the coils out and the uh, PCB valve pipe removed. But before I do that, I'll, 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 I'll take the pipe out, but I, I like to mark my coils and wires with matching numbers. So when there's so many of them, then they all look the same. It's pretty easy to make a mistake. So I, uh, I label them. That's something that never gets seen once it's closed up, but it's for me. It clearly identifies what's what. Here, I'm taking the top cover off getting all the screws off, ready to pull it off. Uh, you need special tools, there's no doubt about it. The clearance, it is a clearance issue, but I've got miniature ratchets that work perfectly. And that's what you need to get yourself if you're going to do this job. Well, I'm finally tackling uh, the 30,000 kilometer service. I got most of the parts off my bike here. <laughs> I would have wanted to film the whole thing, but uh, it's a little too hard to hold on to the camera and film at the same time, I just can't do that. But this is the stage I'm at right now, here. And I'm at the point where my cover comes off. And I just have to wiggle that off. There we go. And now, Now I just have to dump the oil out of the engine so that I can uh, take off this side cover down here. This cover here and get at the crank bolt so that I can rotate the, uh, the engine and adjust my valves. Well, I'm back this morning to uh, to check the valve clearances here, well, I'm on number three there. Hmm. Everything looks nice in there. Anyway, I'll carry on. I'll take some set pictures as I go along. I'm gonna do uh, cylinder number six. This is a good view from here. You can see I'm just turning this crank here, right on the crankshaft and follow these lobes right here. They want to be pointing straight across from each other. That's the lowest point on the cam. So we're going to do our intake first. That's the top one. And one three goes in there nicely. One five just fits. And two three is the maximum. And it doesn't even get close. And on the exhaust side, the minimum is two three and it goes. Yep. Turn the next size up. Two five. That's a snug fit. But it does fit. So those are set at uh, 0.25 in the exhaust and 0.15 on the intake. Okay, we just set the valve here on number three. We're just this is point one three. 
lots of room. So I'll check 0.15. And that does fit and it's snug. three for the exhaust is the starting point. Yeah, and that goes under there. So point two three. Then we're going to five. So next one. And it does go when it's snug. So that's what it is. 0.25. Putting the cylinder head uh, valve cover back on again. I'll tighten those down to spec. And then put my new spark plugs in. They're sitting over there and put the coils in. And I gotta take that filter off and change the filter too. So I still got quite a few things to do. And I got the rad back on again now. Just gonna clamp up the hoses and uh, fill up the fluid. Okay, now I'm at the point here on this uh, service where I have to go and get the air cleaner and that's in here. It's right there. And yes, it's dirty. I don't think I can even see. Well, you can see some light through it. But it's going to be replaced anyways. Look at all the stuff you got to take off to get out of all this stuff. Amazing. But it's all worth it to have a bike like this. Okay, I've got the new air filter in and I'm going to button all the covers up. And now I'm going to move down to the brakes, the front brakes. I'm going to replace them. Uh, here's some of the front pads. After measuring them, they were worn down quite a bit. Probably uh, seven eighths, six eighths of the pad is gone. You can see the comparison here, the two. It's quite a bit thinner. So uh, they're fairly easy to take out your caliper can stay right on mounted on there if you want you don't need to remove it my uh, bike hoist is up and down all day it's covered with tools you need to be up you need to be down it's great to have this thing here I've uh, changed the differential oil that's all fresh 190 milliliters of uh, BMW's gear oil that's one in there I also checked the brake pads and they were the same thickness as a new set so the I'm not changing those. Okay, I've replaced the uh, front pads and bled the brakes, put new fluid in the first cycle. And I've just cleaned this uh, reservoir out from my rear brakes, changed differential fluid, and now I'm going to uh, bleed the rear brakes the first cycle and then uh, plug the uh, laptop in again and actuate the uh, ABS system to pump itself out. So that's a little bit of a lengthy process. So that's what I'm doing next. Okay, I've got uh, the rear diff oil changed, the brakes bled, brand new pads in the front. I didn't change the back ones because they're the same thickness as the new ones. So they're staying for another 30K or so. Now I just have to uh, clean up some of this dust and put all the panels back together. Yeah, got my tire all washed up. I'll put the muffler back on again. And reset everything with the uh, computer program. So we're good to go. I'll carry on. Now I start the reassembly. Here's all the parts that got to go back on the bike. You got to make sure you label everything because it's quite daunting. There's quite a few pieces, lots of different screws.
Here I'm just going to wash the bike down inside, all behind the covers, parts you never can get to. Yeah, the GS911 Wi-Fi uh, to reset the codes and activate the ABS uh, flush system. And I got most of the covers on the bike here. Reassembling it, uh, it's almost done. Once you got the front fairing together, it, uh, the rest of it went quite quickly. And uh, here it is in this final picture, all finished, sitting in its parking spot beside my Corvette, waiting to go out for a ride. And that's the service.